This is one of the best electrical circuits that you can build to prevent yourself from getting offline raided. By utilizing the RAN switch, we can deceive raiders that are scouting our base into thinking that we're online by opening and closing a door. And in case you don't know what that means, raiders are extremely unlikely to raid you if they think that you're online, unless you've agitated them to a point that they want to online you. These are the components that we'll need. The smart switch is so that we can turn it on and off from our phone in case you log off and forget to turn this on. You'll be able to do it from your mobile device. And the memory cell is also optional, but we'll go over that later in the video. This can all be ran off one solar panel and a small battery, and we'll take the output of the battery into the smart switch. We will then connect the output of the smart switch into our first electrical branch. We'll then press E on this and set the power to 1 and connect it to the input of our timer. The output of this timer is going to be used to block the pass-through of our blocker. And to make it easier to keep track of everything, I'll switch my wire color to blue, press R on the wires that are powering the pass-through on our blocker. You'll want to press and hold E and set the timer to around 60 to 120. We'll then take the remaining power from the right side of our first branch and power our second one. The power from the left side of this branch is what we're going to use to create a timed loop, which will make the power flicker on and off. So we're going to take the left side of this branch, send it through our blocker, up into our third electrical branch. We'll then take the left side of this branch to toggle on our timer. And then we'll set this line of wire to yellow so it's a little easier to see. We'll set the left side of our second branch to two power. And the third branch above our blocker will be set to one power. And if you're unfamiliar with what a timed loop is, we basically take in this powered our blocker, which is blocked by the timer when it's on, and the branch above it has no power until the timer turns off, so it will allow pass through on the blocker, which will flicker the branch above it to turn the timer back on, creating our loop. We can now carry on to the randomizer by powering our fourth electrical branch with the right side of our second branch. We'll then take the left side of this branch to power our RAND switch and the right side to power our memory cell. We'll then take the left side or the inverted output of our memory cell to reset on the RAN switch. And the right side or the output of the memory cell will be sent over to the set on the RAN switch. So like I said earlier in the video, the memory cell is optional. But the reason that I like the memory cell is it creates another layer of delay outside of the timer, which adds for a bit more realism in the time between the door opening and closing. So we're going to grab the bottom right toggle node from the memory cell and send it to the power out of our third branch above our blocker. And then the output of our RAN switch is going to be sent over to our door controller. For this circuit, you really only need one door to be open opening and closing, and I would recommend placing it on a door that's like in the center of your base. Or if you're in a really big base and players can't hear the doors opening from the outside of your base, you might want to put it a little bit closer to where they'd be able to hear it. So I'm going to change the timer to five seconds so that we can see this happening in action a little bit faster. So you can see that every time the timer turns off, the blocker allows pass through flickering the branch above it, turning the timer back on and toggling the memory cell. The memory cell has an inverted output and a regular output, and the power only goes through one side at a time. So every time that you toggle the memory cell, the power switches from the left or the right side. So basically what this does is when the RAN switch is activated and opens the door, the next loop on the timer will close the door because the toggle on the memory cell is activated and switches it from set to the reset. And then since we're using the RAN switch, meaning random, there's a chance that after the door closes, the next toggle on the memory cell will not open the door, creating a nice interval in between when the door is open and close. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a few optional components in case you don't have them yet or you just don't see a use for them. Starting with the memory cell, the only thing we really need to do is power the set function on the RAN switch so we can get rid of our fourth electrical branch and our memory cell and simply just power the RAN switch with the right side of our second branch and then run the power that toggled our memory cell into the set function on the RAN switch. And if we set this to a low time and turn it on, you can see that by only having the set function being flickered with power, it still works just as it normally would, but it will run a lot more often. So if you're gonna do it this way without the memory cell, you're probably gonna wanna set the timer a little bit higher. And the other optional component is the smart switch. You can just run the power straight into that first electrical branch, but it's very nice to have a smart switch in case you log off and forget to turn this on before you get off. And also, if you don't have a switch there, it's just gonna run all the time, even when you're online, which is kind of annoying. So you're going to want something that you can turn this on and off with, even if it's just a regular switch. Also, in case you notice this or were curious, the timer does make a noise a lot, but you can only hear it within the foundation that it's been placed in. So there doesn't even need to be a wall between us to block the noise. It's literally just a foundation away and you can't hear it. And if you're crazy and you want to have multiple doors doing this, all you have to do is add additional RAN switches, memory cells if you want the realistic closing, and a way to power all of these new components, which is really easy to do with some splitters. 
And of course, to simplify things, you can knock out the memory cells and do something like this instead. That's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. And I'll catch you in the next one.